I'm George Clayton Johnson. I make a living daydreaming. A lot of these daydreams have ended up on popular television shows. I have credits on The Twilight Zone and Route 66 and Mr. Novak and The Law and Mr. Jones and Honey West and Kung Fu and scads of TV shows that I've written during the, my uh, lifetime. But I've also written many short stories. I've uh, got uh, a room in the other room that's chock full of material in progress. My trunk is deep, deep, deep with projects that have not yet been photographed or filmed. You can only sell so many things and do so many things. And yet I seem almost every day to have a fresh idea and I make notes and I write it down. And uh, right now I'm working on a project which I think of as Playhouse 30 because I want to bring live TV back by way of streaming over the internet. And I've tried to set up a situation where I can stage a one-act play in a small theater and then broadcast that play over the airwaves uh, worldwide uh, and uh, meanwhile can it all so that I can later edit it into a fine little film. And I've got dozens and dozens, I do not exaggerate, of major scale projects in work including a sequel to Logan's Run, a major opera on the life or the death of Emile Zola, uh, I've got a collection of stories I call Kick the Can and Other Stories, but I want to subtitle it Shadow and Substance because I found out that the art of the age is realism, but that realism with a little touch of strange adds the surreal to it, what they call surrealism or irrealism, in which almost everything in it has got that solid ring of truth. It's the way things are. It's undeniable. But some part of it in there is totally unbelievable. But the unbelievable is told to you in the same tone of voice as the absolutely factual. And that does something to the human brain. It opens it up. It's a really an educational device for thinking sideways. Seeing more than directly, logically ahead of you. But seeing some of the unintended consequences. And oftentimes how the unintended consequences are much more dramatic than the intentions. I'm still very much functioning, that's why I mentioned that uh, I'm a lifetime current member of the Guild, because I still am as alive to ideas and thoughts. I've got files and files full of material to work on. I once in a while get people who will ask me to furnish them with a story and I immediately take something out of the file, focus on it for a week or two and I've got another story. And I continue to do that. It keeps me awake and aware. It lets me meet terribly interesting people. It helps me to build a reputation that opens doors wide for me because take this Twilight Zone thing. Twilight Zone has had a 50-year shelf life. It's been on every channel in my house at every time slot, whether early in the morning or late at night. It continually recycles and now it's been put on DVD and complete libraries of it are for sale everywhere. Now all of the scripts that were written have gotten their way into books. It is a real phenomenon. There's hardly anything comparable to Twilight Zone except perhaps Star Trek. That's fascinated me, the idea of the imagination and its power because I believe that how, I, I can acknowledge how big the world is out there, all the way out into outer space and, and intergalactic nebulae, but that's tiny compared to the space in here. In here, there is distance to tack, tuck that over in one corner and not count that as important. <laughs> okay, we understand the galaxy and all in the galaxies of galaxies, but put that aside for a moment. For example, this thing, I open it up, I fill it with space. Right? It's full of space. I put it over here. Is it the same space? Is this the same space in there when I move it around? Or does the space stay still? This thing just moves through it. See, who knows?